in Arab, we, we believe in shaping a better world. And, and the, I suppose the difficulty in Arab is that we've got 10,000 people, all of whom will think of that in a different way. A lot of companies probably don't call their value set ethical, but they all have to make decisions about choices of, of business operation, which countries they're willing to work in, which type of uh, sectors they're willing to work in, which clearly do have an ethical context to them. And therefore, I suspect that every company has a set of directions for the company, which in, in a sense have ethical underpinnings. Companies that have very strong value sets that relate to the important issues of the day in relation to social justice, to resource efficiency, generally the, the surveys indicate tend to be more successful. And, and my view is that's partly because they're more focused on, on what their clients are looking for and what the outcomes are needed out of their business. So they're also quite good at managing themselves to actually manage their way to achieve those outcomes. And, and they're quite good at, at relating uh, value sets that they share with clients to their business. So in other words, they're looking for business with clients who actually share the same value set. So I think there's a lot of reasons why the success comes with these values. The Earth Charter, in a sense, is, is a, I think is a philosophy for success, in a way. Uh, I, mean, I, I sign up to it anyway, in the sense that I see it being a, a successful uh, way forward for the human race. And therefore, success means everything. You know, it means that we can, you know, businesses can be more successful, that people can have a higher quality of life, and, and that we can have a more sustainable way of life. And therefore, there are all sorts of creative propositions that are therefore possible within that context, because there's an awful lot of things wrong at the moment. There's now a 50% probability of human catastrophe around 2070, 2080, caused by global warming caused by a three or four degree rise in Earth's temperature, which the 50% probability relates to the possibility of reaching a, a, a trigger point where we get runaway climate change. People naturally uh, fear the future and, and I think one of the problems is that we're constantly given way, uh, reasons to fear. There are solutions which the Earth Charter helps to sort of position for us which can enable us to live actually much higher quality of life um, with less resources and therefore we have more money for education and health. So in that way, if you're creative, you can see lots of ways of actually doing well within the context of change. The Earth Charter is a, is a comprehensive strategy uh, that covers all the social, economic and environmental issues. But also it's, it's very challenging in terms of the uh, of living in harmony with the natural world and, and actually integrating our lives with the ecological systems on the planet within a concept of, of social justice. And I think that is, for me, that makes it pretty much unique. I don't think there is anything else I've ever read that comprehensively addresses that. And I do believe that that's the secret to success.